Welcome to the final round of this PGA Tour event at St. Andrews. Looking good. Headed for the green. It'll be a very long putt from here. Looking to walk away with birdie on this hole. Oh, this is going to roll way past the hole. Oh! Needs to drain this for par. Forty-five under par for the tournament. The drive is blind from the championship tee, but less so from further forward. The right of the fairway features hidden bunkers and savage gorse. You won't be able to see the bottom of the flag from the fairway if the pin is to the left, while the right side is guarded by many hazards. Should be pleased with this. This could be headed for the green. Not shabby, not a great shot, but we're putting. Putting for birdie. Yeah, it's going to break a little to the left. You might want to try a new putter, or maybe even a wedge or something, because this putter isn't working. Five under par for the tournament. There is plenty of fairway to the left of the flag before the principal's nose bunker comes into play. The third is not a long hole, so you will invariably be hitting a lofted club to a green that slopes away from you. This green is enormous. Three putts are not uncommon. is a drive for the record books.
Unfortunately, this could be headed for the bunker. It's just a horrible lie. He could be in real trouble here. This is for far. I'd say there's a good chance this puck drops here. Step up and knock it down. The safest play off the tee here at four is to aim left over the prominent mound at about 150 yards. An approach shot from the right will avoid the large mound 20 yards from the middle of the green while the shot from the left will have to carry an array of bunkers. Well, there's enough of a wind here, you might want to think about four iron. Should have a good chance from there. There's a good chance this one's going in. Makes his par. Your target off the tee at number five should be just to the left of the pair of far off bunkers called the spectacles. Then it's decision time. Can you carry the ridge? If the wind is in your face, it's usually best to lay up short and be sure to look ahead to see where the pin is. The green is 100 yards deep, so the distance to the pin varies considerably. Play well from here. What's the situation down there, David? Ah, a decision to be made here, Gary. Almost 240 yards to the hole. Look tentative on that swing. This won't make the green. This is a birdie putt. Five under par for the tournament.
This sixth fairway is just pockmarked with hazards. To put your approach close to the pin, you'll have to negotiate the gully in front of the green. Whether you decide on the chip and run option or the aerial approach, this dip is the only hazard to take into consideration. Set him up perfectly for the next shot. Look for this to go right. Forty five under par for the tournament. The most direct line to the green is straight over the gorse bushes. The less able can drive straight down the middle to the right side of the large knoll in the fairway. The green has a variety of humps and hollows, so a certain amount of luck is required to get the ball near the flag here. This one's really killed. It's got a chance to get there. just witnessed a truly remarkable shot. From this distance, you need a little bit of luck to make it. David, I know you got some thoughts on this one. Yeah, I'd want to give this one a bit more room. It's going to go hard left and then break some more. In the 1995 Open Championship, there were only two birdies at the eighth on the first day. Like every hole at St. Andrews, this little par three can seem quite simple when the wind isn't blowing. This will end up in the green. the way you like it. The two straight birdies. This is a chance. Three under on the round. The perfect line is over the prominent bush, avoiding the fairway bunkers. You are now facing a unique phenomenon for the old course, a single green that is flat and round with no significant greenside bunkers. Depending on your position, putting could be the best option. This 
one's got a good chance of reaching the green. That's just a wonderful shot. Got to cover a lot of putting green on this putt. So close. Should be able to make birdie here. Tap it in and move on. Off the tee from number 10, you want to aim between the twin bunkers in the foreground, although the fairway widens slightly on the left at the range of a good drive. Attack the hole and you will be rewarded. It's always a good idea to check where the flagstick is before you hit your tee shot. I've seen you bomb it onto the green before. This one's reachable too. looking drive here. Very nicely done. This for an Eagle 2. David? Not much here, Gary. Just a little break to the left. The 11th at St. Andrews is one of the most celebrated par 3 in the world of golf. It has greenside bunkers so deep you can get lost in them, and a green that falls severely towards the front. Should be in good shape after this. Step on the gas here and put some speed on this one. I don't think so. That's what you call being on fire. 51 under for the tournament. Ah yes, the 12th. Faraday actually had a chance here in the 1995 Open Championship. Of course, he four-putted this green to drop out of contention in the last round. It's a magnificent short par four. Come on, let's see if that weight training's paying off. Go for the green. Looks to be a great drive. Hoo this for an Eagle Two.
Tell me, David. Well, I'll tell you more after the stroke. Can I read it then? This putt for birdie. That's the kind of tournament you only dream of. 52 under. I'm still shaking my head. On the 13th, the drive should be to either side of a group of bunkers 200 yards from the tee, appropriately named the Coffins. If you go into one of them, you're dead. The green is immensely deep and guarded on the right by two formidable bunkers. This one, that's up there forever. This will end up on the putting surface. For birdie. Every once in a while, you see a player have a truly great tournament at 53 under. And the ideal line of the 14th is to the left of the wall and to the right of the fairway bunkers. Holding the green on your approach will be a considerable challenge as it slopes sharply from front to back. It's always a good idea to check where the flag stick is before you hit your tee shot. This one's going to have to travel some distance, David. Yeah, I'd say it's about 240 yards to the hole. Yeah, he's in the rough. Will you have a little fluff under your chin, McCord? There's a little fluff under this ball. It might come out a little hot. When a player goes 54 under, you've just got to tip your cap and say, great tournament. Your ideal target is right between the two prominent humps in the center of the fairway. My advice here is to take an extra club and play it safe into this double green. with this drive.
I think this is heading for the green. Looking at a big birdie putt here. You know, from this range, this one could go in. That's it. On number 16, the safe play is to drive to the left of the principal's nose bunker, which is visible at 180 yards. The more heroic, but perhaps foolish golfers can try the gap between principal's nose and the out-of-bounds line, which is like a three-strand wire fence down the right. Nothing wrong with this shot here. Looks good. It's on its way and it's looking good. Safely on the green, a long putt, but it's on the surface. David, what do you see here? I would be very happy to see just getting it close. It'd be a good effort to get this one anywhere near the hole. Couldn't have done that better myself. You probably knew that. I shot 55 under once. That was for an entire year. Wow, what a great... The road hole has long been believed by many golfers to be the most famous par four in the world of golf. The way the green is laid out, even accomplished golfers find it difficult to avoid the notorious road hole bunker, or the road itself and the wall behind. You've hit every fairway so far. Hit this one straight, and it'll give you a nice bonus. Oh, uh, this could find the rough. After all these years, I thought you could tell the difference, David, but that's in the fairway. Nothing wrong with that. Watch this major league break to the left here. Nice puck for Birdie. Here at 18, Granny Clark's wind crosses the fairway and is not a hazard, but an integral part of the course, and the ball must be played if it finishes there. The front of the green is guarded by the only natural hazard on this hole, the Valley of Sin. out for that long grass here. Nothing wrong with that. I 
little pressure on this putt, it's for the tournament. 